In this video, we'll look at calculating binomial probabilities using the graphing calculator. Consider the sample problem, example 414 from the book. Whenever you're doing a binomial problem, the first thing you want to do is identify the values for n, p, and x. Here, we have some given information. There's 560 pages in a catalog. Eight of those 560 pages feature signature artists we're randomly sampling 100 pages. So the number of pages that feature a signature artist could be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, or 8. So since we're sampling 100 pages, the number of trials in our experiment is 100. So n is 100. The probability of success each time is 8 out of 560. Notice that using the fraction notation here, but 8 divided by 560. That's, a, that's going to be P, your probability of success. And, uh, and then we see X can take on the values anywhere from 0 to 8. Now a typical question will specify certain X values that we would find. Um, so uh, the probability that two pages feature signature artists. So here you want the probability that X is exactly 2. To access the binomial distribution, hit second and then the vars button. And the binomial distribution is all the way down at the bottom, which you can hit up to get to that a little quicker. Binome PDF and binome CDF are your two functions. And PDF is going to be used for finding exact values for x, a single number for instance. Um, CDF is going to be used for finding a range of numbers. So the first one, the probability that x is equal to 2 would be binome PDF. The trials is the 100. And P is 8 divided by 560. And then the x value we want is 2. So this would be the probability that two pages feature signature artists. If you have an older version of this calculator, you'll probably type it in as follows. N comma P comma X. And there's the probability. Next, we want to find the probability that, at most, six pages feature signature artists. This means that x would be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or 6. In fact, we're going to consider all those possibilities, and we want to add them up. Now, you could calculate them individually for all seven numbers, and then add those numbers up. But the binome CDF will actually do this for us. So, go back to the distribution menu, and this time select binome CDF. N and P are the same. And X value you give in CDF is CDF is going to start with 0 and then go up 0, 1, 2, 3, and go up to some stopping point. And you want to say what that stopping point is, where to stop at. So for our problem, at most 6, we want it to stop at 6. So this will find the probabilities for 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 and add them all together for us, which presumably is quicker than us calculating them separately ourselves. Again, the syntax is n, comma, p, comma, x. We're just using the CDF instead of the PDF. All right. In the last one, it says the probability that more than three pages feature signature artists. So more than three includes the numbers 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Now, there's no way for the calculator directly to add up at some starting number up to n. But what it will do is add up from 0 to 3, and then we can subtract that from 1, since the probabilities altogether must sum to 1. So whenever you want to go from some number and then go up to n, just do 1 minus binome CDF, and then you want to keep 100, and p is the same, and x you want to go up to 3. So this will find the probability of 0, 1, 2, and 3, and then by subtracting it, we're getting rid of those, and that'll just leave 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, which are the one numbers that are more than 3. So the binome CDF command itself finds the probabilities of 0 through 3. Subtracting from 1 gives us 4 through 8. And there's the result. Now you can get a table of all the probabilities, um, and that would be done, 
I think typically by going to stat and then edit and then let's just clear that out and then just go from 0 up to wherever you're stopping, so 0 through 8 and then up here we want this to be second bars binom PDF and then the trials is 100 and then P is 8 over 560 and then the X value let's just put a 0 there, paste that in but we don't really want a zero there, we want L1, second, and then one, we'll put an L1 there. So this should do a binomial PDF and it'll put in the numbers from L1 in here. Let's see if that works. All right. And so this gives you the individual probabilities. Remember we found the one for two already, and that's the number we found there. But this calculates all of them automatically. So you can do this, and then if you wanted to find um, any group of these, you can just add them up. Right, you can add up the probabilities from 0 through 6 a little easier here, or um, add up the probabilities from 4 through 8 a little easier, and you could have them all rounded off to four decimal places. And uh, that pretty much tells you what you want to know. Um, and then you can go to plotting these. So let's go to second y equals to the stat plot, and hit enter, and we'll turn that on. And then let's use L2, so probabilities are in L2, uh, and then change this to a uh, histogram plot. And I guess, okay, so we want L1 here, and then L2 for frequency. I think that'll work. Okay, so we want the plot on, you want to select the histogram option, uh, X list to be L1, frequency to be L2, and let's see what happens. Oh, and then we will go to y equals and then get rid of any graphs that are in y equals. And then we'll go to graph. Now we may not see it, we have to hit the right window. So let's do zoom and then zoom stat. Sort of a special zoom window for statistics. That should work. Uh, that did not work. So we can just set up our zoom. We want it to be from 0 to 8 and then you want it to go from 0 to 1 there we go I guess we don't really need to go up to 1, we can go to like 0.5 There we go. Um, notice that the distribution itself is skewed right, which happens when you have a probability less than a half, which this one is, right? The probability is 8 out of 560. So this is your um, graph of this, and, and you can uh, export those and, and take pictures of those as well. All right, that shows binomial probabilities using the graphing calculator.